Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this dramatic cut crease makeup tutorial. So there is a little bit of a story behind my sort of inspiration for this look today. So I recently saw the movie The Man From UNCLE. It only just came out on DVD. There is a badass girl in that movie. Um, her name is Victoria and she's like the baddie, but oh my god. So literally every day, it doesn't matter what she's wearing, what her hair is, anything like that. She has got the most dramatic blue-toned cut grease. Quite literally, as soon as I saw her walk onto the screen, I was like, dang girl, like I need to do that makeup immediately. So... Here we are. It's actually a really cool movie too. It's set in the 60s and it's like a spy movie, but everything is like so classy. They all drive fancy cars. They all have the most amazing wardrobes. It's just the coolest movie ever. But like I said, this look here is inspired by the character Victoria. For copyright reasons, I can't actually show any clips of her whole look in this video, but I will link the trailer to the movie down below. And yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling on. And if you wanna learn how to create this dramatic cut crease makeup look, then please keep on watching. Now it is especially important when doing a cut crease to make sure that you do go ahead and prime your eyelids properly. You do not want any of these shadows creasing or transferring to other areas of the lid because otherwise you will end up looking like a damn hot mess. <laughs> so for me, I am using the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. It works very, very well. And then we'll move into shadows. So the palette that I'm using is the Kat Von D Monarch palette and I'm first taking this matte taupe shade. This is what we are going to use to essentially map out where we want our cut crease to go. You do want to make sure that you start with a very, very light brown or taupe shade because essentially it's like, you know, going in with a grey lead before going in with a black pen. Now I'm using a very, very small fine pointed brush. This one is by Sigma. I will link it down below along with all of the other products used for your information. Now I'm taking a very, very tiny little bit of shadow at a time, adding a little bit more, blending it in, taking a little bit, blending it in and so forth. I'm now going in with a warmer shade to sort of warm up our transition area. You want to make sure that when blending this color up and out you don't want to go anywhere below that line that we've just created otherwise you're essentially going to defeat the purpose of the cut crease. So now going back in with that smaller brush and that same taupe shadow again working in a little bit more of that color and blending it up. Now with my cut crease today, I'm actually going to use a teeny little bit of blue because I really wanted to have this look inspired by Victoria from The Man From UNCLE. Um, and I do actually always like to incorporate some kind of color when doing a cut crease, whether it be a brown or, you know, a gray or a purple or whatever it may be. I find that it adds a little bit more of an edge to the look rather than just using blacks and creams. Now I've essentially done exactly the same here that I did with the taupe shade and I've used that blue on that tiny detailing brush, slowly worked it through that crease line that we've created and then blended it up and out with that same blending brush. Once you are happy with the general area and position of your cut crease, you want to start getting a little bit more serious. So I am taking a flat angle brush and I am going to be taking that same blue eyeshadow very, very lightly. And by lightly, I mean I am so gently tapping it in the shadow and then tapping it off a few times to get rid of any excess product. And as you can see, I'm carving out a very, very gentle and light line right across the area where we want that cut crease to be. Now going back in with that same brush that we started with, blending that upwards and outwards. And essentially I repeat this a whole bunch of times until I'm very, very happy with the blending of the transition and the harshness of the cut crease. Now to make things a little bit darker and more dramatic, I'm now taking a matte black shadow. And pretty well I am repeating the steps that I did earlier. Now don't worry if you accidentally do make a bit of a boo-boo and you carry that um, darker shade down a lower than your new... Uh, false crease I guess you could say that we've created because um, if you do that it'll end up looking quite messy but um, yeah you can use a very small brush and use a little bit of concealer or as you can see what I'm about to do here I'm taking a lighter eyeshadow and applying that one all over the mobile lid and right up against that line to really clean up any mistakes that we've made and using a lighter color on the lid really helps to make your cut crease really really stand out now you can use something metallic if you prefer but I just wanted to go you know a little bit more on the neutral side of things I'm also popping that same shadow on the brow bone just as a nice highlight and once that's done we're ready to go into the eyeliner Now I am using a felt tip liquid eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Master Precise. I love it. It's got the teensiest, tiniest little tip as you can see. 
Now what you can see me doing here is I'm essentially just drawing right across my lash line and then I'm going to create a wing using the felt tip of the liner and connecting it to the outer corner of the cut crease. If you leave any gaps here between the darker shadows of the cut crease and the liquid eyeliner it will look a little bit bizarre. Now going in with an angled brush and some of that matte black eyeshadow I'm actually smudging out that eyeliner a little bit. This is going to give it the illusion of looking a little bit more lived in and I'm also using the tip of that to join up any gaps that we've got between the cut crease and the line. Now carrying that black eyeshadow down onto the lower lash line as well, connecting the wing to the lower lash line and then I will go in with some liquid eyeliner. This is just the same one and I'm darkening that lower lash line making to sure, oh sorry, making sure to keep my actual waterline free because I'm going to apply a nude pencil on that waterline just to really widen and open up the eyes. Oh, and I'm also extending my inner corner of my eyeliner and then blending that eyeliner out on the lower lash line with some of that black shadow and a pencil brush. I'm now going in with a couple of coats of mascara on both my upper and lower lashes and then to finish off the look I am balancing out the drama of that false cut crease that we've created with some nice thick dramatic lashes. These are the Bella Lashes by Coco Lashes. They are ridiculously affordable. I think about $3 or something crazy like that. As I said earlier, everything will be linked below. Now for the rest of the face, when doing a cut crease I like to keep things very, very neutral. So I'm taking this new Zoeva palette. This is the nude spectrum blush palette that is launching on the 11th of January. Oh my god you guys you are going to absolutely adore this Zoeva Spectrum collection I promise you that. But as you can see I'm just using that to add a tiny little bit of color on my cheeks. I'm not doing any harsh contouring, I'm not doing any blush, anything like that. I'm just keeping it nice and natural. And then finally I am finishing off the lips by applying these two Violet Voss liquid lipsticks, mixing them together just to get a really nice natural shade, nothing that's going to be overbearing with the eyes. Now that completes the tutorial guys, I hope you really did enjoy it, I love cut creases and it seems like, you know, most of the population believes that cut creases is like a really really modern thing and then it's only come in recently, but cut creases really did originate back in the 1960s, like everybody used to rock them. If you were a rich girl, <laughs> you were a cut crease. But thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the makeup tutorial, do give it a thumbs up if you did like it and I will catch you all in my next video, bye!